A pillar of gospel music here in South Africa has actually fallen. We'll be talking about the heartbreaking death of this particular South African reporter and of course gospel artist Zanele Mbogazi Nkambule. Well, today we gather to mourn the tragic loss of a remarkable woman, Zanele Mbokasi, known as the founder of the Crown Gospel Music Awards and a beloved Nkosi FM radio personality. While Zanele's passing has sent shockwaves through South Africa and beyond, right now, the Economic Freedom Fighters, that is the EFF, have extended their deepest condolences to the Nkambule and Mbonkasi families during this difficult time. Join us as we reflect on her incredible life, the impact she made on gospel music, and the legacy she leaves behind. Zanele Mbongasi was a woman of many talents and passions. Born and raised in South Africa, she dedicated her life to promoting gospel music and uplifting the community through her work. Her journey began on the airwaves of Nkosi FM where she quickly became a beloved radio personality known for her warm voice and inspiring messages. While in 2007, Zanele founded the Crown Gospel Music Awards, an event that celebrates the achievements of gospel artists here in South Africa. While the awards have grown in popularity and prestige, becoming a cornerstone of the gospel music scene. While well, through her dedication and hard work, Zanele provided a platform for many artists to shine and of course, she brought gospel music to the forefront of South African culture. While well, Zanele's contributions to gospel music and her community are immeasurable, as a radio personality, she touched the lives of countless listeners, offering comfort, inspiration and joy through her broadcast. Her passion for gospel music was evident in every aspect of her work, from organizing the Crown Gospel Music Awards to mentoring young artists. Believe me, this is something so interesting. I mean, I don't know about you all, but I feel like this is something that really makes her to be a legend. The awards not only recognized the talents of gospel musicians, but also encouraged the growth of the genre in South Africa. Was Zanele's mission, and of course her vision and leadership, played a crucial role in elevating gospel music to new heights, making it accessible to a wider audience and fostering a sense of community among artists and fans alike. While the news of Zanele Mbokasi Nkambule's passing has been met with an outpouring of grief and tribute from across the country, fans, fellow radio personalities and gospel artists have all expressed their sorrow and of course they have shared memories of the positive impact Zanele had on their lives. While the EFF's heartfelt condolences reflect the deep respect and admiration that many had for Zanele, her legacy as a pioneer in gospel music and a beacon of positivity will continue to inspire future generations. Well, Zanele Mbokasi's work has left an indelible mark on South African culture. Her efforts to promote gospel music and create platforms for artists have not only enriched the genre but also strengthened the sense of community among musicians and fans. While her passing is a significant loss but her legacy will live on through the Crown Gospel Music Awards and the countless lives she actually touched. Well, Leave your thoughts in the comment section about anything you might have to say or anything you have to contribute. Let our soul rest perfectly with the Lord. So please drop your condolence wishes just down in the comment section for this particular beautiful soul.